you may want to send some messages randomly to someone a few thousand times that basically say, I miss the rage. <laughs> I don't condone this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it with the new fad on TikTok. I have a video that has kind of blown up for this, but this is the exact app that's used. We're going to go over it, show you how to download the app, set it up and use it. As always, be careful when you're messaging people if you decide to use that. They can block you and no longer speak with you again. So I do encourage to just mess around with this maybe in Notepad or something like that. From my experience, there is a way to do it pretty fast in all the apps, but on Snapchat you can do it extremely fast. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and everything on trends, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button, would really appreciate it. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you what we're talking about. First, we need to get the app. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the App Store, and we're gonna go ahead and search Paste Keyboard. And it's gonna be this first one right here under the ad which says uh, copy paste on the picture and it says paste keyboard super easy copy and paste keyboard go ahead and click on that and then once you do you can go ahead and choose open it'll come up and ask you if you would like to send you notifications for now i'm just going to choose allow i'll turn it off if it gets annoying now that we have the app installed we're going to go and choose settings we're going to find general and select that and we're going to choose keyboard go ahead and choose keyboards next we want to choose add new keyboard here we're gonna choose paste keyboard. So go ahead and choose that. And now we have a paste keyboard set up, except we also have to give it access. So to do that, what we're gonna do is click on paste keyboard again, and we're gonna choose allow full access. Now it's gonna come up with this information and I'm gonna read it here real quick for you. Full access allows the developer of this keyboard to transmit anything you type, including things you have previously typed with this keyboard. This could include sensitive information such as your credit card numbers or street address. Yes, if you use this keyboard, anything you type, they can see. So be very careful with that. And if you're okay with it, I'm gonna go ahead and choose allow. I'm gonna choose allow because I'm gonna show you how to do this tutorial, but then after that, I will probably just delete the app. So now that we have allow, we are set up and the keyboard is functioning. Let me show you how to use it. Now that we have the keyboard installed, what we need to do is go back to the paste app. And here is your now list, which is empty. You're gonna click the plus sign and you're gonna put whichever phrase you want in there. I miss the rage. And you can also add emojis. And once you're done, you'll go ahead and choose save. There's a big step. If you don't do this, you're not going to see anything in your keyboard. So now if we go into notes, what we could do is go ahead and choose the globe in the bottom left hand corner. That is basically how to change keyboards. You'll see it here and you tap on it and it will enter what you typed and you can tap on it a bunch of times and see how it goes. Now, if you're trying to send something you'd have to hit enter between each time so that's the arrow so then you would hit i missed the rage enter i missed the rage enter and then you go as fast as basically you want and it's sending a lot of messages i have big fingers so sometimes this doesn't work so perfect but you get an idea so you can make little scroll designs and stuff like that i don't know <laughs> but try to be careful don't get in trouble with this but it is fun to do and it's pretty neat. The app is free, which is great. But like I said, it can see everything you type. So be careful. You can add more stuff to the list and you can alternate between things and always make sure to click that globe to switch back to your regular keyboard. And we'll do one more. There we go. And now you have a bunch of different things. You could choose hi, hello, that, I miss the rage. And you can have a whole list here. That way it looks like you're typing a whole bunch of different things. You can even make these really long to make it look really impressive. Like how did you type that so fast? 
and this is copy and paste keyboard. When you're done and you want to switch back to the other keyboard, again, click the globe, it'll flip back. When you want to remove it, into settings, general, keyboard, keyboards, paste keyboard, turn full access off, like so. And now what you want to do is delete the keyboard. So find the keyboard like here, hold down, and then remove app and delete app and delete the data also. Now you're able to mess around with it and you deleted everything so it's not gonna keep track of your stuff. Not all developers do that, but they have the option to, so I'm always very cautious with that. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Hope this helped and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for the view.